What's going on guys, Eric742, the Eric's RC channel. <clears throat> For this video I'm just going to be mounting, basically mounting the APM 2.6 flight controller to the um, anti-vibration mount that I got from uh, Amazon. And we are going to be mounting it to the frame top of the uh, S550, right in the middle here, with some... Uh, I'm going to be using for mounting the uh, oh, the vib I'm gonna, for mounting the vibration dampener. I'm going to be using the Scotch um, outdoor permanent mounting tape, and for mounting the uh, the board to the anti-vibration the vibration dampener. Um, I'm probably just it came with some uh, little foam foam pads, and I'll probably use these if they're sticky enough. They're three M, so they probably are. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to put together the anti-vibration dampener, and this came from Amazon.com. All right, so I, we're just going to put these grommets in in the holes. Okay, guys, I'm back. I just finished um, putting together the anti-vibration mount. That was an extreme pain in the ass. Um, these things are really hard to get through those holes. Uh, I accidentally tore one a little bit right there on the edge. No big deal. I might get another one of these grommets uh, later to replace it. Um, so this was a cheap one on Amazon. If you get a better quality one, it, it probably would be easier. Um, but it seems like it would it would take out a lot of vibration from um, something mounted on top of here. All right. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mount the APM 2.6 flight controller onto the anti-vibration mount. And both of my surfaces I had already cleaned with uh, with alcohol. Um, if you notice on the APM 2.6 it does have a forward arrow, so you need to make sure after you once once you're getting it set up mounted on the the uh, hexacopter that this is facing forward. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use these foam mounts that came with the anti-vibration mount. And I'm gonna put one on each um, side of the APM. They're nice and thick, that'll provide a little, even a little more cushion. those on there. I'm going to try to get this as straight as possible when I mount it to this um, vibration dampener here. And right now it doesn't matter which way because I can flip this around but I will do my best here. Okay. I can't tell you how much of a pain these grommets were getting through this, those holes. Okay. And I'm trying to mount it to just as dead center as I can. All right. Well, whether it's center or not, it's on there. So that is the APM 2.6 mounted to the vibration dampener. And even that foam tape provides even a little more um, dampening, so this ought to be really good. I think it ought to work really well with the with the APM 2.6 flight controller. Okay, so for the next part, this is where my Scotch uh, outdoor mounting tape comes in. Uh, dampener sticking down a little bit. I probably need two layers of double-sided tape. Uh, one layer here and one layer here, probably. And I'm going to want to make sure, facing forward, this is facing forward. It's got like a, like an arrow here, going forward. And I want it to be sitting just like this. Right in the middle. It 
This stuff is supposed to be really strong. We'll see. All right, I'll put one more piece on top of this to uh, match up to the height of these the grommet legs. Go on the first piece. It should be enough height to clear the grommets, I believe. All I'm going to do is um, this is the front, so ABM 216 facing forward. And this has already been cleaned with alcohol. Um, if you haven't cleaned it with alcohol, it makes you don't have any grease, it'll prevent it from sticking properly. Um, and we're going to go ahead and mount this on. Um, I'm just going to do my very best to line it up, up front and back and side to side. You want it as close to the center of the board as possible and as straight as possible. Alright, so we got the double sided outdoor basically gorilla tape and uh, that's holding on there pretty well for an added measure of security. There's a bunch of extra foam uh, foam tape right here we could snip off. I'm going to go ahead and snip that off. I'll edit this part out. I'm just going to snip off the foam on both sides and then I'll show you. We're going to zip tie the uh, this board down as well. Okay. Now that we got the excess tape off from the inside, what we're going to do is we're going to run two zip ties, one here, one here. Just to extra security, this board is not going to come flying off. We're just going to route through the little triangular hole here and up through this here. That way this um, anti-vibration mount is not going to come off. Flat controller is a different story because it's not zip tied down, but that can also be taken care of. And this has ground and USB and some other things. If you want to use that, this is covering that up so that you won't be able to use that with doing this method, but uh, I did not plan on using any of that. So for this side, same thing. Uh, this is the front. Uh, we're going to go through the triangle there and come out of the top here and just tighten down. I feel I would feel ten times better with these zip ties holding this on than if they weren't there. Just a little peace of mind. So we got the zip ties plus the tape. Okay, so now the APM 2.6 is mounted to the top plate of the S550, and uh, pretty soon here we're going to get into wiring. Um, I'm still missing my receiver, the Orange RX receiver, so that's a problem, but uh, hopefully it will be here soon and uh, get this thing really going. Uh, so next video, we're probably going to be doing outputs, uh, which motors go to what and into which pins. Uh, Alright guys, take care, um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and I'll see you guys around.